Recently, Mayor Walsh has appointed Edry, my guest today, and two other Bostonians to the 15-member Boston Cultural Council. With these additions, the council now includes representatives from every city council district and Boston's wide array of arts and cultural disciplines. These cultural council members help the city determine how best to allocate funds to arts and cultural organizations. Edry is a graduate of Emerson and she plays accordion in the Dorchester-based rock group Walter Sickert and the Army of Broken Toys. Welcome to Neighborhood Network News. Thank you very much. Well, first of all, congratulations to you and the other two folks that are coming on. Let's begin by giving people a sense of yourself. I understand you're the only artist, working artist, in on the council, which is strange, and we'll get that to <laughs> later. But I think people might be surprised or shocked. Tell us about Walter Sickert and the Army of Broken Toys. Uh, so it's a, it's a band. We're based in Dorchester. We have a, an artist space and studio in Dorchester near the Ashmont Tea Station. And it's a, a group of people who play lots of different kinds of instruments. Um, we work with local um, body movement artists and uh, visual performers and put on big spectacular shows in lots of places in and around Boston and parts of the world. And just saying rock group doesn't say it. Are you steampunk? Are you, or how do you characterize your music? Uh, the band made up a genre called steam crunk. It's sort of yeah. uh, a mixture of the fact that our music is a little different, our personalities are a little different, and it sort of all combines into kind of a spectacular. <laughs> all right. Now let's get back to the, um, the mayor has wanted to be inclusive and uh, you have met already several times with your fellow uh, council members. How, how do you feel maybe, what do you bring to the table that maybe the other ones don't? Not saying that you're better or worse than the other ones, but what's different about you as a council member? I, I think my perspective on Boston arts in general is slightly different. So I come from a very underground arts background, things that are pop-up, not funded in non-traditional spaces, working with a wide variety of collaborators from all sorts of different communities within Boston and Cambridge and Somerville. And I think my perspective is really the working artist, the people who really make their living at art and figure out how to put large productions on with very little budget. Um, I think that's an interesting aspect to bring into the Cultural Council. I think traditionally they're focused on arts organizations and how those organizations collaborate with artists, and I'm much more focused on the artists themselves and how they can do their job making this city a real cultural destination. So am I correct in thinking that maybe in the past this uh, council, which people haven't heard that much about, helped sustain existing organizations, whether your guys uh, with new rules, and maybe you can tell us about the new rules, you're going to try and invite people that didn't think that the system was going to be open to them, and now it is. The city's open to that. Yeah, I think, I think from the artist's perspective, you have, you have to have a uh, partnering institution to be able to get a grant, but I don't think that the artists really knew about how to go about that. So I feel like my personal job on the Cultural Council is to make sure that artists hear about this. And they can do, there's some new rules where you can do a project-based funding. So if you have a That's specific, a one-shot thing. In yeah. Other, instead have of having an existing long-term. Exactly. So has, if yeah, you have a specific okay. project, you want to do a pop-up art in Dudley Square, and you have a bunch of artists who want to get in on that, you can do a project proposal, find a sponsoring institution, and actually get a grant from the Boston Cultural Council for that. Now, looking, you guys have already looked at the budget for 2015. Uh, are, there, are we going to see surprises, do you think, in the next year, some more non-traditional or you know, pop, you know, interesting installations and stuff? Yeah, so some of the rule changes um, helped bring in a different perspective for the grants that came in this year. Uh, so one of the great things is the Mass Cultural Council gives the Boston Cultural Council some money to give away, but what the mayor did this year was match that budget, so we have twice the budget that we had last year, which is great. 
they also expanded the rules so that it wasn't just a, a specific couple of disciplines who could apply. So it used to be you could do dance and writing one year and the next year was visual art. Now it's everything. Oh, all, all the time. Well, all the time. That, which meant that we had over twice the number of applications this year to go through, which we all found great because that means it's much more of a mix of lots of different kinds of artists being able to do lots of different kinds of things. So you do feel that the mayor is serious about helping the arts, uh, and I suppose you look forward to working with the new uh, Julie. Of the, uh, you, yeah. Yeah. That, um, the Cultural Council is definitely going to meet with her when she starts work. We are very excited. I got to meet her in person, um, and she's a wonderful person. Because she still person. is half in Chicago, right? Yeah, I think she's moving this month, but she's still half in Chicago and half here, and her job hasn't officially started yet. But it would be great to have someone actually at a cabinet-level position focused on the arts in Boston. Because I feel like Boston's a real arts city but we don't advertise the fact that we are. And all of the underground art that happens on a daily basis, I have at least 15 Facebook invites to weird cultural art things happening tonight, every night. <laughs> Those things just don't get out past their small groups. And I think with someone really focused on making sure that that happens, it's a worldwide destination for art and Boston's it. All right, we're going to have to have you back very soon in the new year to tell us about the uh, Shockhead Peter, the musical that you guys are, are putting together. When, quickly, when's that going to be? Uh, it opens in March. We're partnering with Company One and Suffolk University at the Modern Theater. All right, thank you very much, thank and you. Happy New Year. Thanks. You too.